Well, those of you that watch my channel know I love to organize things and I love my labeler, right? Because my feeling is that if I label and organize, nobody will ever call me a hoarder. Oh, that's true. Because I do have a lot of prepping supplies. And I keep, I've kept, you know, my food in um, an Excel spreadsheet, all my canning and my dehydrating and my long-term food. And I've had a spreadsheet for my EDC inventory, my bug out inventory, you know, various things like that. But I don't have a system to include everything until now. Well, I purchased Prepper Nerd System. I got it a couple months ago and I wanted to share my experience with you. Now I purchased the system, let me repeat, I bought it. Um, this is not where he sent it to me asking for a review. No, I thought this looked like such a great idea that I spent my own money on it. So I wanted to give you a very honest review of the Prepper Nerd inventory system. And I have been busy since I purchased it. I inventoried everything in my downstairs prep room, which, well, let me show you. And I have been busy, cleaned out, organized, and inventoried everything in my downstairs prep room. And that includes all my supplies, my home canned goods, my home dehydrated goods, my long-term freeze-dried food, I inventoried everything in that room and put it in the Prepper Nerd inventory system. And based on that, I can say, happily say, that I have over 14 months of food just down there for two people. And that really gives me peace of mind. Now, I also have food, I have just about a whole pig and more in my chest freezer. I have meat and veggies and fruit in my regular freezer, upright I guess it's called, and I have some in the freezer connected to my refrigerator, and then I have my walk-in pantry where I also have food, and the closet pantry. Now, all the latter things I just mentioned, I'm not putting in the inventory system because I have to be realistic. My husband will pull things from there and he won't tell me he's used them, so my inventory would never be up to date. And I might do the same when I'm quick trying to make something. And it takes a lot of time to proper do an inventory. So my feeling is, hey, in the basement, I have more than a year's worth of food and I know I have a lot more in other places of the house. So I feel confident about food. Now let me show you real quick how you enter something for food. So let's just enter this can of corn, okay? I'm not going to enter it by barcode, so let's go down here. What is the category? Well, I believe it would be vegetable, so right at the bottom, of course, vegetables. Okay, description, and we have corn del Monte. Okay. Then, where is this food stored? Okay, let's just say it is in the downstairs storage area. Okay, container, so it's in a can, just a regular can. I'm just gonna say canned veggies, okay. Best Buy date. Well, look, it, I already have it labeled September of 21. So, go here, get a little calendar. So we wanna go September 21. Now that's pretty easy, isn't it? And serving size, okay. Well, here we have the information. So it says there's three and a half servings per container and a half cup is a serving size. We have one half. Here is 3.5. And the servings per package, package quantity. Okay, we're just gonna do one in this case. 
servings is 3.5, calories per serving is 60, and you could put notes. So you can submit it. Okay, and then, so if we want to find that, we do control F, corn. Okay, right there it is. Corn de Monte. It's in the downstairs storage area. It is a can. It's going to expire this year in September. It's 143 days until it does. And so this one can gives us 210 calories. And that's how it. That's how easy it is. Now I want to mention for that food inventory, you can also enter things by barcode, which really saves a lot of time. And there is a new enhancement where there's a shopping list, so you can put in what you need. And of course, with this system, it's in the cloud, right? So you're at the store, you can look at your cell phone and say, that's what I need. So it's a great system. But just in case, you can print your whole inventory, so you have a printed copy. But there's been other videos talking about the great way this is to keep track of your food inventory. But to me, what I really love about this is how I can keep track of all my supplies. I mean, I really do have a lot. So, in Jason, you know, I have those in the basement, right? But I also have a heck of a lot of supplies in my Jeep and my husband's truck, uh, probably in the outbuilding, my medical supplies in the closet. I mean, you get the picture. I have supplies in various parts of this house. And I was just making a recent video, the cordage video. You know, uh, paracord is not the best. And I was trying to find my Technora cord. And I'm going, hmm, do I have that in my cordage in my craft room? Or do I have that in my EDC? Do I have that in my bug out roll in the Jeep? I mean, where is it? Well, if I would have properly inventoried everything, I would be able to just look in the spreadsheet and find it. So right now, I am working on inventorying things in my Jeep. And let me show you my main Jeep bag. So you see this big USA hockey bag? Well, you're probably surprised, but I do not play hockey. But somebody at work had won this in an auction and they knew my grandson did, so they gave it to me. But my daughter said, you know, my grandson has his team bag, so he doesn't need another one. So I thought, hmm. And you know what I do? I put loads of stuff in here, and this goes in the back of my Jeep. Now, it probably weighs almost 80 pounds. So I really have it filled. It is not something I would carry bugging out but it has a lot of items in it. Well, let me show you. Okay, here's a water container. Got a siphon gas. Of course, duct tape. And then, Something that I would use if I had to walk any distance. This is my little kit, and I have a video on it, but it is something I can carry long distances, and it has a lot of supplies in it. Yeah. Even a heavy duty shovel come in handy if you get stuck, right? I mean, a nice blanket. I can go on and on. There's all kinds of things in here, including, can you see in the back here? It's my Canadian Prepper bug out roll. Yeah. And this has got clothing in it. Just a lot of stuff here. But I'm gonna start with inventorying this and let's show you how to inventory something simple like this shovel. Let's enter the category. And ammo, battery, cooking. Eh, I'm just going to put it in as equipment. OK. 
Okay. Description. We're going to say shovel. Okay. Storage area. And again, this is customization here. Jeep. Okay. And unit. We've got one. Package quantity, one. And units per package is one. Okay. And under the notes, stored in hockey bag. Submit. Okay, so now it's submitting it. And then if I went out and in my supplies inventory, okay, let's do control F and type shovel. Okay, right there, it shows you equipment, Jeep. And you can go across and you can see where it's stored and any notes on it. That's how easy it is to enter something. It can really be fast. Now, recently I also made a video on my reference library, my prepper reference library. And I paid just a little extra when I purchased the Prepper Nerd inventory system so it can be customized to my needs. So he made a really nice thing where I can list all of my books by the title, the author, the year they were published, what category they're in, you know, is it for survivalism or is it for my pantry cooking, that type of thing. So I inventoried all my prepper reference books and that's another great use for this. But when I talk about customizing, I also had them customize where things are. So like in my downstairs room, it's big enough, um, could I easily find something? So let's say for some reason I need a mosquito net and I know I have a mosquito net and I know it's in the downstairs prep room, but where is it in the prep room? Well, go into my spreadsheet, do control F and find it. Okay, there it is. It says it's in the small PR third bot. What does that mean? Well, that is my uh, short abbreviation for the small prep room because there's a little room off the main room and it's third shelf from the bottom. Okay, and then let's see if we can find it. Okay, so we walk into the small room. You want to go three shelves up. Here we go. Camping and cooking supplies. Let's see. Is that? There it is. Deluxe mosquito net. So this customization really has helped me be able to locate something fast. And that's why I'm even liking the supply inventory more than the food inventory. It really, really comes in handy. Now this is going to take a little work on your part if you purchase it. You have to take the time to inventory everything. And when you buy something new, add it to your list. When you discard something, take it off your list or when you use it. But it is really a great system and Prepper Nerd is so easy to work with. I mean, within 24, 48 hours, he answers emails, he helps you out. He's really a great guy and he's continually making enhancements. So who knows what the future will hold for this product. Anyway, I have been very, very happy with it and I really encourage you to check out his website. Now there is an annual cost and I'm not gonna quote what it is because I think it kind of depends if you're going with the standard uh, or if you are going customizing, but you can find out more on those web pages. So I only have one criticism for this system. On the Prepper Nerd website, he mentions websites that, you know, are great for prepping reference. These are websites to check out. And it's got like City Prepper, Urban Prepper, Prepper Princess, 
uh, Sutton's Days, a lot of different channels. But you know what's missing? That's right, Prepper Nerd, you don't have Prepper Potpourri. <laughs> what's up? Anyway, thank you for listening, and I hope you check out the Prepper Nerd inventory system so you can be organized and no one will think you're a hoarder.